I tell them, you should. I will, you can set one before me, I bless it, I eat it. If I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I won't eat it, I eat it. But if your faith is weak, that you believe more in the power of this God than the diet, don't eat that thing. Amen. Because whatever in that thing will come in you too. Amen. Amen. You understand what I'm telling you? Amen. That's what he means. If that person believes, listen to me, that person believes if I damn meat, I damn boy. I damn that unclean meat, my whole soul unclean, my whole body unclean. God, I feel unclean. You understand how your heart is condemning it? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. But don't be full of something wrong. Whether you believe in, in right or wrong, if it's wrong, you're already judged it. Amen. Understand what I'm telling you, you know? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen somebody, because God has a standard. So if do, so do, do, do you think I could do something wrong, and because I do condemn myself, I would be judged. Don't miss the top of the word. Amen. Because there's a portion of those in my heart condemning God is greater than that. And then there's a sin that is not unto death. But there's a sin that is unto death. So we need to understand all these things. All these are different teachings. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. But if you're wrong, you're wrong. Amen. Whatever you are sowing, you shall reap for it. So you need to repent and make it right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. But what he's saying is, hey, there, are, there are things that are, are lawful and there are things that are unlawful there. There are things that people say that is unlawful, but they are lawful. Amen. God is greater than all these things. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. You understand what I'm telling you? Amen. 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 And the Apostle Paul draw the, the reference and eating. And when you talk about drinking, you talk about drinking wine. Amen. In that portion of those we're talking about it, we talk about drinking water, we're talking about drinking wine. Amen. That topic has always been going on. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Eating that which is unclean and drinking strong drink. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And he begin to draw a reference there that. Amen. If a person to when he eat that food or he drink that wine, he, he's unclean, he's a sinner, he, he fail God, he, that person's faith can be spoiled. Yeah. And if that person see you doing it, yeah, you cannot minister to them. Yeah. Because of their belief and because of their system, your way of thinking. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And they have already condemned themselves, condemned their heart. Amen, somebody. Yeah. The sin and the death and the hell and the Bible said, and that's how important faith is. Look how important faith is. Eh? Eating meat, whatever meat that you eat in, it does not defile you, but your faith is the one defiling you. Know? Look at that. Look at how your faith is condemning you. Because that which is not of faith is sin. Think about that. Think about how important faith is right here now as a believer, as a child of God. When he said, now that which is not of faith is sin. And that you eating meat and you believe it is wrong. By your faith, you are defiled. Amen. By your belief, by you believing you are defiled, you are defiled. Your faith is shaken. Amen. And he said, that which is not of faith is sin. That's how important your faith is. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Damn by what we, we see and feel. Amen, somebody. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. But our faith will be greater than our feelings. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. How many of you understand that prayer? Yes. I want you to, uh, amen, somebody. Yes. Amen. You can just come and receive a word from God with a blessing, with a healing, with a destroy your marriage. And you, you jump up and you're happy and excited. Yeah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. God, going to move from me and my home and my mouth. You see my pain. And by the time you meet you, whether it's a woman or a man, and the boss took cussing you. <laughs> oh, 
God has created this heart when done. By what? Disappointment. Amen. Discouragement. This thing, but all you this how our faith in us. So your faith is not ruled by what this happened, your faith is ruled by what God said. God has say, I guess when I go to move them with this, I'm going to go and sit and see you say, Oh, you think you have faith? And you reach home. <laughs> and that what happened to you inside your heart here when you reach home? Just condemn all what God said. So I also want you to understand that part of that verse there. It's because why your, your faith was, is not ruled by you, how you feel inside and out. It, it, how you feel, but your faith is not supposed to be ruled by that. Your faith is ruled by God say, what God say. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit said the Lord of hosts. And you can defy that word that you just received. But by that act of unbelief that has happened in your heart. You see how they say that moves, and the next day you and the next day you will have faith in But inhale your faith. Your faith will be tested. Your faith will be tested, tried, and tried. And it's going to be tested in your heart. Right here. Right here, God is going to be tested. See, that's going to come after you, and He's going to test your faith in your heart. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Good of course, I'm going to let this listen to the friend that we can't say that about.